Hello, this is Ron, KA7U. I'm going to check in and talk about this little project that's going on, on this breadboard. In the back corner we have a SI5352A a clock and over here we have a uh, Huzza ESP32 Feather uh, MCU and over here we have a rotary encoder and back here of course we have an oscilloscope that uh, all the frequencies and stuff have to agree with. And currently it says 14050 050 and that's currently what it says there. And up here we have the software, the Arduino IDE and the sketches that we're experimenting with. So to give you an idea how this is working out for me, I finally got the thing doing everything I want it to do. And I'm tuning by the kilohertz step at this point. And I'll just leave it on kilohertz steps. You can see that as fast as I turn this, the thing pretty well keeps up. And if we come over here, it takes the scope a little while to count the frequency we stopped at. We stopped at 1350. And there it is, 14135000. It isn't real pretty print yet, but I'll work on that. And currently I can press buttons on this encoder to make it go to like 10 kilohertz or something. We'll see what it does. Sometimes it bumps. I need to put a capacitor on it. And yeah, I did it jump two spaces. So we are moving at, uh, I don't know what it did, and that's just 10 kilohertz. So we're moving at the 10 kilohertz rate. And as you can see, that tunes quite a bit faster. I'm going to rig it up eventually so the capacitive touch will let a guy pick out which one of these he wants. And I'll see if I can manage to touch this zero at the end. I got close to it, and I left a little red dot, which you can see. And that capacitive touch could rig up a switch in the software that would then make that the current tuning step of one hertz instead of going up so high. Or I could come over here and put it on 100 hertz. And I was a little more uh, centered on that with my finger. This is a capacitive touch screen and it might be this uh, VFO would work better with a resistive touch screen. So anyway, that's a quick discussion on this. I just wanted to share. Uh, I'll put it up on YouTube probably and list it on other interested groups just as a thing to get the conversation started. So this is Ron, KA7U, probably more than enough video.